The suspected Half Moon Bay gunman tells investigators a possible motive to the mass shooting. More on that, plus other news coming up on SyncedIn. Hey everyone. He felt disrespected by co-workers. That's what Chun Li Zhao, the accused gunman in the Half Moon Bay mass shooting, allegedly told investigators. This is according to sources with direct knowledge of the investigation. Here's our investigative reporter Jackson Vanderbecken with more on that. Our sources say Zhao told investigators he acted out of rage on Monday after a co-worker rejected his latest workplace complaint and rode off on a bicycle. They say Zhao followed and gunned him down about a half an hour later, along with a second co-worker near a greenhouse. Then he returned to the workers' encampment and shot the first co-worker's wife inside their trailer before shooting two more co-workers in another trailer. One was asleep. The other is the only shooting victim to survive. Investigators say Zhao then drove to a nearby mushroom farm on Cabrillo Highway and killed a married couple he had worked with before, along with another former co-worker. Six of the eight victims have been identified by the coroner. Family members have identified the others. These are their names. Zhao is being charged with seven counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted murder with the special circumstance of multiple murders and a firearms enhancement on each charge. NBC Bay Area has a lot of reporters working on getting the latest information on this mass shooting. You can find all of the updates by clicking this tab on our homepage. In other local news, do you recognize this man? Police are looking for him. He was caught on camera assaulting a 78-year-old man in broad daylight on January 8th in San Francisco. The incident happened around 7.30 in the morning on Natoma Street in the Soma District. The suspect fled on foot. The victim was reportedly taken to the hospital and is doing okay. We have seen um, assaults like this on the street of San Francisco, particularly directed toward their seniors. Uh, and it just is disgusting. Uh, and we need to have a zero tolerance policy uh, here in San Francisco that if you if you act like this, if you harm someone like this, you're going to get arrested, you're going to get prosecuted. Anyone with info can contact the SFPD tip line. Okay, here's an update on a story we've been following. It turns out it had nothing to do with Flamin' Hot Cheetos or food for that matter. Our investigative unit recently obtained the coroner's report of the 94-year-old dementia patient who died at the senior care home Atria Walnut Creek last September. The company insisted his death was not due to ingesting any cleaning fluid or chemicals, but instead was food-related, allegedly told the victim's son he had a bad reaction to eating Flamin' Hot Cheetos in the middle of the night. The coroner's report, though, confirms the patient's cause of death was in fact from ingesting liquid cleaning fluid. Canoon's incident happened just four days before three other dementia residents at Atria Senior Living San Mateo location were poisoned. The company admits staff there accidentally served cleaning fluid to those three residents, mistaking it for fruit juice. Trudy Maxwell and Peter Schroeder died as a result. Canoon's son says in his father's case, the company denied it was anything like what happened in San Mateo, telling him his father had a bad reaction to eating hot Cheetos. Atria knew the extent of the injuries. Even if that was the information that they have, they should have backed down because it was just a ridiculous thing to say. And frankly, really, really upsetting for the family. You can watch the rest of the report at NBCBayArea.com slash investigations. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching.